What's up guys? I kind of want to talk about the PlayStation 5 Pro and the effects that it is going to have toward NVIDIA and AMD uh, mid mid-range GPUs over the over the coming uh, over the coming months and possibly throughout the next generation. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of sitting on the fence about PlayStation 5 Pro right now. I mean, I was I was included in that. Like I was I had really not that big of a desire to buy one at launch um, but I kind of do feel like the PlayStation 5 Pro at the $700 price point is kind of a non-starter for for console gamers you know for, for the most part the average you know um, the average casual console player to to want to go out and spend seven hundred dollars on a on a on a on a console um it's kind of a non-starter for them and only like the true avid fans that are like really into tech and really wanting that uh really wanting like a piece of hardware that's really gonna you know look good on their lg c2 or their 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 expensive um 4k tv that they got in the living room they got it all set up and they're really proud of that thing and you know i i get those people that that are actively like yeah they just want better and you know playstation or xbox could put out a new console every four years and people would still buy these these hardcore fans would still buy these but what really starts to turn the page and what really starts to make things tick and make me think is your average you know your average i would say mid-range pc you know is good is going to run you anywhere from you know eight eight hundred to to like fifteen hundred bucks you know for for a good average pc that's going to you know easily be on par or or significantly better than what the playstation 5 pro has to offer but you know you hear the argument all the time about simplicity this and um you know optimization that and you know the reason why i think that this is kind of going to be a big problem for both nvidia and amd in their mid-range segment is is the fact that like people are just sick and tired of 70 series cards being priced at six seven eight hundred dollars or you know like people just not caring about amd like they do i mean <laughs> I didn't really get it at first, but I kind of get it now. I see the allure to want to go out and buy an NVIDIA GPU. Like, I understand it, you know? The best is the best, you know? And people people look at that and, and they, they don't even listen to reason at all anymore. It's it's one of those things where it's like, there's like, there's like so many things that drive and push people to buying nvidia you got store you got the people that work at the at, <laughs> in the retail stores selling this stuff being like oh man you should never buy amd you just need nvidia and and don't tell me they don't i've been to best buy a lot of times when i'm picking up my amd cards and they're like oh man you you, you getting an amd i i mean those are they, and they would be like yeah man you should have went with nvidia or you know like or i'd be buying an nvidia card when i was buying like the 4070 or the 4070 super or the 4080 super they're like yeah man you got one of them and and, uh, and and like when i would tell them i was like yeah dude i got a i got i got an amd build at home and stuff too they'd be like oh man well it's a good it, it's just weird you know how they how like everybody is like pre-programmed to just like nvidia is the best even if you're a console gamer and you're sitting there on your playstation or your xbox you're not ever thinking about amd like you're thinking about nvidia and when you're seeing the prices of what nvidia has to offer you're you're instantly like oh man that's too expensive that's too expensive and and i get it like there there's just so much like it's such a double-edged sword when it comes to nvidia it's like everybody wants them and everybody thinks that they're the best but at the same time everybody talks himself out of it because getting the pc is just too expensive well, the PlayStation 5 Pro kind of fills that gap. And the fact that PlayStation is of able to bring AI upscaling to a freaking console for $700, that's got to that's gotta like make NVIDIA and AMD kind of be like, I, I can't believe AMD would even allow that, would even allow that at, at, at a reasonable price. Because if you think about it, you know say this thing really does perform on par with your 7800 xt 7800 xt is an absolute beast i freaking love that card there's a lot of games that that, that card will easily run native 4k 60 frames a second and above 60 60 fps plus like it will absolutely 
run that at ultra settings on some of those games. I mean, like you can you can literally push like 4K one, like 4K 100 plus frames native on Call of Duty and stuff on a 7800 XT. And so when you're looking at something like that, and then you get that type of a power, you know, obviously it's 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 a little bit different because of the uh, the AI upscaling and all of that stuff. If PlayStation was to allow for unlocked frame rates and all of that stuff and just let, you know, like the developers just put it on there, they they optimize it all good and then they just unlock that frame rate. They make sure they can hit the 60 but then just unlock it past that. You know, if you've got like a VRR display or something like that, they just unlock it past that. You're essentially getting the, you're essentially getting like the optimized settings for that game and then being able to just shoot past what, what it is because that's like one of the things that like PC gaming is all about is just that open, you know, free to do whatever you want and, and, and play your games however you want. Um, that just kind of puts PlayStation one step closer into that mid-range PC market and from what Digital Foundry is saying, they've, they've had access to like a PlayStation 5 Pro. They've had access to footage, you know, like native footage, being able to look at it. And these guys, you know, NVIDIA, like NVIDIA is like their bread and butter, I feel. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're like, and, and even they are saying that, that this is a good first outing for PlayStation. Like, let that sink in. A console maker is bringing a PC level feature that literally people go nuts for. They, 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 oh my gosh, I gotta have DLSS. It's like so programmed into their heads that like DLSS is this like savior of video gaming. When in, when in reality is what it does is it just makes you think your GPU is better than what it actually is. Because you know people are buying 4070s, 1440p GPUs, and using DLSS to run at 4K, and they are, y y you know what I mean? So it's like these people are like utilizing this technology, whether it's good or bad, It's that's your own decision. You know, you buy your GPU and you do whatever you want with it, but they're utilizing these features and then like couple that with like frame generation, because you know frame generation clearly works on the PlayStation 5. So when you couple these technologies into a console and you put that at, a, at an attractive price that is clearly um, clearly not designed for the casual market. It is more designed to, to like blur that line between mid-range PC and console, like elite console. And I think that PlayStation is the NVIDIA of the console market, like they are. And when you see that, when you when you put these two titans together in terms of like mind share, in terms of, you know, just, just overall quality and, and the way that the media and everybody treats these two companies the way that the customers treat these companies, the way just just the way that the the, the things revolve around PlayStation and NVIDIA, I think that NVIDIA stands to actually lose out more than AMD. Like AMD built uh, is is powering the PlayStation 5, so that's good for them. They're obviously going to turn a profit and make money off of the PlayStation 5 Pro sales. And when you get these Nvidia guys that are on like 2060s or they're on 2070s or they're or they're rocking like a 3060 or a 3070 or or, or these these 60 to 70 series GPUs and they see that as an like hey man this thing looks good. It runs at 4K. It does what my my Nvidia GPU can do. I'm willing to trade freedom for for an ecosystem that's locked down. You, you get this kind of like you get this like kind of tug of war between these between these guys that are clearly looking and desire that that entry level or that budget build. You get them looking over over the fence like, yeah, PlayStation's got the PlayStation exclusives and this, and they've got top-end developers that build absolutely beautiful freaking games. It only takes a couple of these games on PlayStation to kind of get people into like, oh my gosh, this is so premium. And, and it works, man. Like the, the psyche, the human psyche is so messed up sometimes that when you when you put 
when you put somebody in front of something and it looks good and it plays good and it's got a good story and you know i mean dude i i love playstation first party games i mean maybe not as much as i used to they used to make some really good bangers but now it's like kind of like the gameplay is getting better but the the story quality has kind of fallen off and you know they're 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 switching out you know like the the, the you know they're getting rid of like the masculine men and in, in playstation first party games they're they're bringing in like the women and all of that stuff and 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 they're really just you know kind of moving away from what made playstation great but at the same time playstation is still an attractive brand because it has that mind that mind share and you know when you when you get that and you put that together and you and you look at the the ecosystem being able to get like you know like play play like some of like the you know like a settle course of competizione on a ps5 you know versus and, and and you still got access to like gran turismo 7 or, or you've got like you know horizons and your god of war and all of these you know uncharted and all of these games that you can still buy and play on the playstation platform you know i mean if you went like honestly guys i mean if you literally went from pc to playstation you are going to miss out on a lot of really cool exclusives that come to pc um and a lot of that freedom that you've enjoyed for so long but at the same time when you're looking at like a 800 to 1500 pc and there's like this shiny little playstation 5 pro sitting there and it's only 700 750 dollars is what i paid for mine it's only 750 bucks versus all that money that you can that you're gonna put into a pc you know i i do kind of feel like that affects the the human psyche to a point where it's like yeah guys i i I, I I love my PC, but Nvidia prices are going so high. AMD prices are, you know, like AMD is not even an option for me because it doesn't have DLSS. But PSSR is close enough to DLSS because Digital Foundry said so. You start getting these like, you, you don't. It's it's all it's like I said with uh, with something else. It's kind of like they might start feeling like they're just side grading. You know, they're going from the best to the best. So it doesn't really matter. They're, they're still in the best. They still get to keep that that shiny badge of like, oh my gosh, I get the best. You, you know what I mean? And I feel like I feel like as time goes on and as this console generation continues to mature and we start getting what the the top of the you know the top of the food chain uh sony first party developers start building out you know towards the you know towards the end of this generation and stuff i do think that that playstation 5 pro with pssr does have the ability and and the uh, and 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 the and the mind share to actually start peeling away those low end Nvidia users, I, I do. Um, at the same time, that definitely helps AMD because you know the the PSSR is obviously going to do a good job. Like Digital Foundry saying it's pretty good. Uh, everything that I've seen so far looks fairly impressive. It doesn't look terrible at all. Um, my main thing for it is obviously PSVR two for Gran Turismo seven and maybe some of the other VR games that I got. I'm really hoping that that is going to um, enhance the experience for me. And and I am I'm buying it just on a whim, just just being like oh I'm just getting it, you know, and hoping hoping for the best. Like I like I have all generation with PlayStation. Um, but when you look at it and you really consider the things that I'm saying tonight and God, man, I think about some weird stuff like all the time. Like I, I, I do, I think about this stuff is PlayStation five enough to pull NVIDIA play, uh, NVIDIA, in, NVIDIA, uh, fans away from their mid range PCs. Is it enough? Is it, can PlayStation win? these over these these guys over because that is obviously the market that they are trying to segment and trying to get into with playstation 5 pro they're they're trying to you know you know hoping that they keep the you know the the longer exclusive cycle on the playstation games to try to get the pc guys that have bought like god of war some of these games to like oh yeah man i should just get a playstation because all they got to do is get them in front of the playstation a few times and and they'll be they'll 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 start converting like it's it's like you get this ecosystem you get this new toy you want to play with it and it, it it only takes a little while to like really convert somebody like i got converted to xbox you know from playstation as like my main like 
play play uh playstation is my main freaking uh system i got converted pretty easy with the xbox one x you know i was just like i'd watch the digital foundry video on the next game that was coming out and they'd be like felt full fat 4k i would be like boom getting it on xbox it only literally took a few games before i had finally decided i'm not buying any more third-party games on playstation but i will buy their first party games and then the xbox with the third-party games literally became my my platform of play where, where i would play um and and that's crazy because i've opened up so much just in the last you know i would say seven years seven eight years in in gaming because you know when when you're when you're older and you got family and you got kids and stuff you kind of just you you eventually turn into a casual gamer but then you, you know, and, and then when I started opening up again, I started, you know, playing on the Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Now, now I'm playing on everything again. And I feel, I feel like I'm younger again. Like I'm like, I play almost like I did when I was younger, but not, not, I'm not exactly there yet, but it only takes my friends a little while before somebody is willing to convert and and necess and not necessarily like give up on the other platform but at least convert and when you put a price tag on a on a piece of hardware that is capable of doing what nvidia does with their dlss that literally puts the playstation 5 pro in a position to go after a market segment of the pc user base that a $700 price tag looks attractive when you're, oh man, I gotta pay $700 for a GPU. You, you know what I mean? And and you, and you and you look at that and you're like, gosh, dude, the new 5070 is, 70, is, is $700, or I could get a PS5 Pro and just play highly curated, highly optimized games on the PS5 Pro and they still look good. I think you go there and then when you look at the like 12 gigabytes of vram for the 5070 and you've been playing on your 38 your 3070 and at eight gigs and it's just not working and you're hearing everybody talking about how 12 gigs isn't enough and that kind of stuff starts to put doubt in your mind and then you start to see playstation 5 pro as a real as a real contender for something that could absolutely part you from your money it ah this is crazy guys i've been thinking about this a little while me personally that this this whole thing doesn't affect me i love my 7900 xtx the playstation 5 pro literally is for for my gt7 i love gt7 and i want to keep playing it i've been doing a little bit of streaming on that let me know in the comment section if you guys are actually enjoying that but um yeah guys i i kind of figured that this was going to be one of those uh one of those like videos where I'm like, gosh, dang, dude, like, I start thinking about the possibilities of what PlayStation 5 Pro can do. And when you start getting people like me that are out there streaming on it and talking about it and making content on it, it's going to, especially like somebody like me in like the PC space, is it is it like something that's really going to potentially, you know, take a chunk out of the, out of the PC market, man? The PC market is getting expensive and I think PlayStation literally priced this thing and spec'd it out in a way that it is undeniable to where it's not seen as an option. Like this is going to be looked at as an option by a lot of people. And you're getting in there in the community on PlayStation when you buy your PS5 Pro and you're like, yeah, I came from PC. They're gonna be there to cheer you on and it's gonna turn into like this echo chamber and then you're gonna turn into Reos Rogue. And <laughs> man, man I, I love it, dude. I think it's funny how people get so radicalized over, over like brands and stuff. It's so incredibly funny to watch that. And, and I've never seen so much of it in my life until I started this channel. It's just, it's crazy watching people get so radicalized over something, you know, that, oh, it's funny. I do it myself too. I do it myself too. I get, I get radicalized, but then I come back down to earth and I'm like, wait a minute, what am I doing? This is stupid. Like, I don't know. I think this is cool. I think this is funny. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. Do you think it's a possibility that PlayStation 5 starts to steal market share from Nvidia? This is interesting, guys. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.